my channel be for real i am brit so first things first make sure y'all subscribe i say this all the time i know i'm a broken record be sure to turn your notifications on so you do not miss any of my uploads so real quick we are making a vegan cajun seafood mac and cheese okay okay all right y'all i ain't even gonna talk too long we're gonna go ahead and hop right into the video all right y'all so getting right down to business we are going to be using vegan scrimp i'm calling them scrimps today we are going to be using a uh, heart of palm as well as lobster mushrooms so i will put the market where i get my vegan shrimp from this is for if you live in the philly area if you do not i apologize i'm not sure where you would get them but what i will say is that if you cannot find them you can just omit them it's fine or if you don't get down with vegan scrimp, don't use them. Make this recipe comfortable for you and yours, okay? So here I'm just also going to cook about a pound of noodles according to the package direction, self-explanatory. Of course, the water is salted so that our noodles do not clump together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook that down according to our package directions and we are moving right along. Like, I am not here to waste y'all time. Y'all know this. We are getting busy today. So boom, we are going to be getting our lobster mushrooms popping. Now I will link in the description box below exactly where I got my mushrooms from. I got them from Amazon, okay? Cause sharing is caring. There are no secrets around here. I used lobster mushrooms. So we're just gonna go ahead and place them in our bowl. I have some water that I boiled. So we're just gonna throw our water in here. Well, we're gonna pour it. Throw it sound real aggressive. We are going to pour our boiling water into our bowl here just to cover the mushrooms. There is no exact measurements. Don't worry about that. You just wanna go ahead and make sure that your lobster mushrooms are covered because these mushrooms are dehydrated. So we are rehydrating, okay? All right, so next up is our heart of palm. If you watch my previous videos, you know I love to use this as a crab substitute. It is amazing. So I'm just gonna drain this and I'm gonna place it right into our lobster mushroom mix. Now, as you can see on the logo, I found this right at Walmart. I always get it from Walmart. It's right next to the artichokes in the camp food aisle. So that's where I like to purchase mine. Then we're gonna throw in our vegan scrimps. I let those boil for five minutes. I don't think I said that before, but I let those boil for five minutes and I'm gonna toss them right in here. We're gonna put everything together. You know, it's a seafood making cheese. So we gotta, you know, treat all the seafood the same quote-unquote seafood so I'm gonna do a nice little ancestor shimmy of our kelp granules kelp gives a nice added sea like flavor and next we're gonna add a strong ancestor shimmy of some Cajun seasoning because we have to make sure this right okay we cannot leave any lobster mushroom vegan scrimp heart of palm unturned okay everything needs to be well seasoned so we're going to get that in there mix it around just like that and I did just go ahead and cover that we're going to set that to the side at room temperature while we get our vegan mac and cheese together now your phone your computer your tv whatever you are watching this on is not broken okay I froze this because I just want to let you guys know that this is the part where we are going to make the vegan mac and cheese now I want everyone to pay attention because I know vegan mac and cheese is a cultural delicacy that we all love and sometimes miss very dearly so when it comes to making it vegan it has to be right okay so there will be a full list of the ingredients in the description box below but pay attention it is simple yet easy to mess up okay so we are going to be making a cheese sauce kind of similar to a roux okay so I'm placing in a half cup of oil you could use whatever oil you prefer I used olive oil I'm going to be using also a half cup of flour now I chose to use chickpea flour you can use whatever flour you prefer but uh mine is chickpea so we're going to place a half cup of that a little at a time into our oil my oil is on medium a little over medium high heat okay so we're going to go ahead and place this in a little at a time we're going to whisk this up and we are going to let this cook for about one to two minutes just to cook the flour out you know you don't want that flour taste okay pay attention y'all pay attention so we are going to let that cook for about one to two minutes now 
we are going to go ahead and add in our liquid. I am going to use one can of coconut milk. And I know what y'all thinking. Come on now, you add coconut milk. I do not want my mac and cheese to taste like coconut. I don't got time for that. And I'm here to tell y'all that I do not like coconut. So I can assure you that this will not taste like coconut, okay? Okay. So we are also going to add in a cup of veggie broth. Veggie broth, okay? Because I always have people in the comments like, you use chicken broth, this is not. Child, it's veggie broth, okay? Let me say that once. I'm not going to say it again. So <laughs> we're going to add that in and then we're going to let that kind of thicken up. If y'all can see here, it's starting to thicken up. This is what we want. This is what we're going for. It's doing its thing. Now we are going to go ahead and add in our vegan cheeses. Now you can use the cheeses that you prefer, but I personally like the diet cutting board cheeses, the cutting board, okay? And I also like the veal life. So these are the cheeses that I'm going to be using today. You can use mozzarella, cheddar, pepper jack. I like to use a mix. So we're going to go ahead and add that in as well. Let that melt down, get nice and creamy. Now, I'm also going to add in some nutritional yeast. Now this is optional, but for me, it does something. It does something. I don't leave it out. However, if you don't like nutritional yeast, I understand. But me personally, I got to have the nutritional yeast. So I'm going to do a little ancestor shimmy with that. No measurement for that. So we're going to add that in. We're going to let this get nice and smooth. Y'all see where I'm going with this? Do y'all see what's happening? The wrist work should just be phenomenal at this point, okay? We are flicking our wrist. We are stirring. We are, you know, rolling that whisk around that pan to make sure we get the sides. Child, we not playing today. All right, so I did go ahead and double bake and add a little bit more cheese. It's up to you. That's optional. You can add as much cheese as you want. Now, I don't know how y'all ever made y'all regular mac and cheese, you know, back when you ate dairy. Uh, but a little tip is to use some sour cream or even cream cheese. It makes it extremely creamy. So I am going to be using a tub. I think it's a 12 ounce tub of some vegan sour cream uh, that is the Tofuti brand. So I'm just going to be placing that into our sauce as well. We're just going to whisk that. It is going to soften up as it heats up. So don't worry about that. You'll be able to whisk it effortlessly. Okay. You see, I'm just trying, you know, smash it down. and But it's, it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So you see, you see, you see. Okay. All right. You feel me? If you're not making your vegan mac and cheese like this, you're not doing it right. And I could be biased, but I'm that's that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on to my favorite part. Seasonings, okay? They are, there are no measurements for this, y'all. It's ancestor shimmy all day, every day, okay? We are using some sea salt, some natural sea salt gotta have the natural sea salt so you want to do this according to what you would want okay so sea salt we're going to add in some pepper we're going to add in some garlic powder we're going to add in some smoked paprika and we're going to add just a little bit more of the cajun seasoning i did not add a lot um, just because I don't want to overpower the uh, cheese sauce. So we're just doing a little, little sprinkle, you know. And we would, of course, flick our wrist on this to get everything nice and incorporated. We want to make sure our seasonings are, you know, you know. So you can actually taste this at this point. Taste it, check it, make sure your seasonings are to your liking. Adjust your seasonings if need be. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and move right along. Okay, y'all, so real quick, we're just going to go ahead and take our heart of palm out of our little marinade there. We are going to shred these. You've seen me do this in my gumbo video. You've also seen me do this in the crab fry video. So I'm just going to take two forks and shred this. Um, I am then going to remove our lobster mushrooms from the mix as well. We are going to do a rough chop on these. I didn't uh, do anything too fine. Just a nice rough chop on our mushrooms then I'm going to also slice our shrimp down in half um, they were a little too big for my liking so I wanted to go ahead and cut them down into smaller pieces just like that and then we are going to go ahead and mix our noodles 
into our cheese sauce here. Self-explanatory, pretty simple. Now, at this point, if your mac and cheese does not make it to the oven because you decided that you was going to sit here and eat it now, that's not on me. I'm just saying. Because that's happened to me before. Like, at this point, it tastes so good that you like, do I really need an oven? Like, you start to question yourself. I'm just warning y'all now. We are going to assemble our mac and cheese. So I am going to kind of do this in layers, like kind of like lasagna. So I'm going to go ahead and get our pan here. We're going to do a nice little spray, cooking spray here. And then we're going to go ahead and place our mac and cheese in one layer first. Nice little layer here. I say about like a half an inch. I'm not good with measurements, y'all, but I would say like a half an inch. I don't know. And then we are going to go ahead and layer our crab. Then we're going to also place our mushroom. Then we're going to place our shrimp. Shrimp, okay? So um, a little tip. Before you add this to your mac and cheese, you can do like a light little saute of the crab mix, the mushrooms, and the shrimp. I did cook the crab down a little bit, but I didn't do anything else. In hindsight, I feel like I should have. Um, I feel like I would have preferred for it to be sauteed down a little bit more. So, little tip from me to y'all. You know, I did it and already made the errors. So, y'all don't have to make the same mistakes I did, okay? We are going to put the crab down. We are going to go ahead and put the lobster down. Then we are going to put the shrimps down, okay? And then we are going to top this with some cheese, some Cajun seasoning, a little bit mo. And we are also going to add the smoked paprika on top as well. So my oven is already preheated at 350 degrees. So we are going to toast this in the oven for 20 minutes. Once our 20 minutes is up, I'm going to let our mac and cheese broil for about three minutes just to get that cheese melted down on the top. And boom, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. All right. Okay, what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments what y'all think. Because, cause, child, I was proud of myself. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I was really, really impressed with me. Okay? That might sound so crazy, but I was. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this all turned out. Mac and cheese. All right, y'all. So, I have a special guest here with me that's going to try the seafood mac and cheese. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Naj B, DJ, spouse. Who is you waving at? I don't know. All right, <laughs> take that off, take that off. All right, so... This is his first time trying the lobster mushroom too, and it is my first time as well. He doesn't like the vegan shrimp. We he hit it before you, right? You don't like the vegan shrimp. Mm, that was one time. I'll oh, try it again. I don't think I put it in yours, but yeah, this is our first time trying the lobster mushroom. So honest opinion. Okay. Don't be lying to me on that. No, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's cheesy. I didn't know how the lobster mushroom was going to taste, but it's not bad. This is lobster mushroom? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, y'all. So, I'm trying the shrimp. It's like, I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a piece of the shrimp in there. Shrimpy. I like it. You want to try it? <laughs> I like it, <laughs> but I don't want to be too hyped just in case you don't like what you think. I don't like the chewiness of it. It's not chewy to me. That's pretty chewy. I think it's chewy. Mm. But the, uh, the lobster mushroom is the lobster mushroom, lobster mushroom dope, man. Now it's on bingo. Um. Am I allowed to critique it? Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe some spice. Like spicy? Like, like um... Like a, like a tad bit. You want like a kick? Yeah, I need that. Mm-hmm. A little, little bump to it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like all my food always spicy, so I like, you know, be trying to make sure it's not too spicy this time. Mm -hmm. But yo, I don't know what it is. But the mac on point, though. It, what you say? The mac is on point. Um, 
Ah, I feel like you knew that already, though. Well, I don't mean to talk my own horn, but uh. Yeah. Real quick, y'all, because the camera is about to die. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. If you like this video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up, comment, like, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys at my next video.